Hi there, I'm Patricia Kelly, uh, RHN, and uh, thank you for joining us today on Access TV. Uh, Peggy Nelson is joining me today, and we're going to share with you what we like about bone broth. Peggy, um, can you tell us uh, what kind of bone broth do you like to make for your family? I really love incorporating fish bone broth because it's kind of closer to traditional roots, and being able to incorporate that in teach my children about the health and nutrition of several broths, including what we would traditionally eat. What kind of fish w would you use? Like uh, just one or different types? Um, I think it depends all in the season. And this time I went with um, salmon bone broth, uh, mm. pink salmon, because mm -hmm. that's what I had on hand. And, you know, with today's technology, we can freeze things and kind of have it when we want to. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, and I made fish bone broth. That looks pretty good. So is, is salmon broth, is that more for the winter then? Um, I think it's more like summery, but we can use it for the winter. Mm -hmm. There's also, you can do halibut broth, which my family also loves doing. Mm -hmm. And those things get pretty big, so <laughs> probably feed an army. So what would, what would a bone broth, a good fish bone broth, be then for the winter? Is that halibut, or, or is there a different kind of fish? Or? We use usually salmon, um, but when we get our hands on halibut, we use halibut. And So um, I, I think you were saying that one of the reasons why you like to make bone broth is to, uh, you, you can get your kids to eat it, right? Yeah, so. after the summer of like teaching them about how we harvest fish and how we basically store it for the winter, preserve it, they've actually grown to love it a whole lot more. And I don't have to be as sneaky about putting it into rice, into like making it more flavorful. So it's really nice to incorporate that because of all the nutrient content that it has. Plus, when you throw in the seasonal vegetables from the farmer's market, mm -hmm. it makes a really great combination, I think, because then it just helps mm -hmm. your body absorb and mm -hmm. detox naturally. Mm -hmm. So everyone in your family likes it, even the kids. <laughs> yes, even the kids, like especially after this season. I mean, all the learning experience, it's great. How about you? What kind of broth do you, you enjoy? Um, well, when I first started making bone broth, it was always chicken broth. And uh, I think that's just because everyone likes chicken soup, right? Yes. And it's easy to get a chicken carcass. But last year, um, I switched over to beef. And, uh, and I haven't been a red meat eater like in decades, right? But uh, I really like the beef bone broths for the winter. I find them, they're, they're really hearty and uh, I like the flavor to them. Um, I do think it was easier though to make a bone broth with the chicken. And, and I think that's because the chicken bones are tinier. So when you get a chicken carcass, what you get is um, like a lot more cartilage, like you mm -hmm. with fish too, I would think, because there's so many bones. So you get the ligaments and the tendons and, and the skin. And, and that's the stuff that turns your broth into gelatin. So that's the really nutritious stuff. But um, but I, I kind of like the beef bone broth taste. I, I like the taste more. <laughs> so, so, um, so last year, what, what I started doing was, uh, like I make mine in a slow cooker. Um, I used to make it in a big pot, but the, the slow cooker is uh, uh, it's pretty inexpensive. It costs $15. Um, do you use the slow cooker too? Uh, for my other broths, but not fish, I kind of just do that over a stovetop because it doesn't take as long as it would for a beef broth or a chicken broth. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the slow cooker is good for the broths that have to go on the uh, cook for, you know, a few days, yeah, yeah. two or three days. And uh, with the beef broth, then once it's ready, what I like to put in are the seasonal vegetables too. So cut up some turnip and, uh, and then put some greens in at the end, like just chop them up and put them in and put the cover back on and just kind of let them wilt for a few minutes and then put some sauerkraut or some uh, shio koji on top for flavor. And, uh, but uh, I, I think that's it for today. So anything you'd like to say at the very end? Or? <laughs> yeah, bone broth is very 
fish bone broth, I think, especially because it's so close, to, we're so close to the ocean, I think is great because it helps like with irregular heartbeats and your like lowering high blood pressure. So it's great to incorporate it within your diet. Yeah, I agree. There are so many things it's good for. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you again.